What's up everybody? So, this project, I am using some What The Foam from Cosplay Apprentice on YouTube. He uh, makes this foam, it's a plastic infused uh, EVA foam, which makes it uh, pretty rivid. Rivid, yeah, makes it pretty rigid. Uh, it's, it's a lot more durable than regular foam. You can see that he throws in a nice exacto uh, knife with every time you buy a box of this stuff, which is pretty cool. These are the phasers and tri quarters that my brother-in-law bought for a Star Trek costume. So what I'm doing here in this video is I am making uh, holsters for both of those. And so those are the specific uh, brands that he bought of these so that if you want to make these, you know exactly what uh, these patterns fit because there's a lots of different types and brands of those uh, replicas out there. The holster for the phaser is just these two shapes and they go together pretty easy. So that's it for the phaser holster and then so you can see I check the size once I get it done and it uh, fits pretty good. I um, heat shape the top there and kind of bend the corners in to make it a little bit more square. That's just a preference thing for me. Now the um, tricorder uh, holster is just these three pieces. It's a front, back, and a side. The side piece goes uh, all the way around. Then the back piece is literally the same as the front, it's just a little bit longer because the top sticks up a little bit further to match the top of the tricorder once it's in the holster. So I start in the corner with that and then I just glue it um, up to the front and glue that all the way around. So there's that. Now I'm test fitting the tricorder to make sure that it fits in that. And it fits really good. It's really snug. It's not going anywhere, but it's easy to take out. Then I go through with my rotary tool and I bevel these corners just to make them a little bit softer. Uh, so they're not just a, a straight edge. Plus it also cleans up your, your glue marks and your um, seams where it's uh, taller or or shorter than where it was supposed to be so it just helps it blend in and make it look like it's one piece the nice thing about this uh, what the foam when you're sanding it is it sands really easy uh, and you don't have to sand it a few times it doesn't leave that like fuzzy uh, you know that fuzzy like pitting on other like softer foams when you're sanding and you have to go through and heat seal it and sand it again. So now I'm going through with some uh, Plasti Dip. This is Peel Coat from Aluminum. It's basically exactly the same as Plasti Dip. It's just marketed for automobiles. I sprayed a good two, two coats of this on there. 
I think in the future I will go through and I will seal it um, with some glue first and then maybe some Plasti Dip. The thing that I will say about the what the foam is since all the two millimeter is red, it seems like it's it's kind of hard to paint over the red. It's a really vibrant red, um, and that might just be because it's the first time I'm using it, and I didn't seal it properly or I didn't do something specific that I should have. Um, but sometimes it just seems like the paint doesn't soak into the foam first, and then normally like the paint will soak in first and then the paint second coat will stick to the, the first coat but this seems like it just kinda stays on top sometimes so that's something that I'll have to uh, experiment with in the future and just see if I, if I can change that but I ended up just putting two coats of black um, acrylic paint on top of that and it ended up looking fine So my brother-in-law decided that he wanted the um, phaser to be repainted. So what I do is I take off the uh, sticker on the top. That sticker is supposed to represent the, I believe it's the battery, the battery level, like the charge level for the for the phaser. Um, from everything that I've seen online, the phasers change a lot. Um, but what I decided to do was to do the green, the green screen, the green battery level. So I take that sticker off and I go through and I sand down all of the seam lines from the plastic. Um, when they make the molds of the plastic, it leaves these seams. I, I s smooth those out. And I sand the whole thing with this um, fine sanding sponge there just to get it ready for paint. I, um, I did both of the phasers differently. Uh, this one I did a base coat of silver. Obviously I did a base coat of silver on the other one. I just The other one I took apart and painted them uh, in separately, which was uh, a lot easier. You'll see that in a second. But uh, you can totally do it this way if you don't want to take it apart. You can absolutely just paint it all as one piece. So I, I spray the whole thing with silver first. Then I take this Tamiya gloss black paint and I go through and I paint all of the black parts I tape everything off first I just give everything a nice light coat of this black So now that everything's dry, I peel all the tape off. The uh, main button is white, so I painted that white. Then I pop that in first. The front nozzle gets glued in. And then I put the bottom on. And that all just kind of clamps in together. It's got these uh, pins that hold into each other and then uh, it has screws on the bottom too. That top piece has pins and it just slides on. Then I tape off that screen. I give it a nice lime green base coat. I did like two coats of that. The two buttons in the front are this off-white tan color. So I go by hand and I paint the sides and the tops of uh, these. 
it's one of those things where it takes a steady hand and some patience um, because you know that that color on that black is going to take a few coats. So now I go through with a small brush with some dark green and I paint in these these lines to give it that um, battery level uh, look. And then that is it. So now everything has been uh, clear coated to protect the paint and sliding it in just to make sure everything still fits after being painted and everything. And uh, everything worked out pretty good. And like I said, I'm going to put some magnets on the back of these for the pants. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you like the videos, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, because I, I try to put out cool videos for you guys all the time. So, alright, see you later.